in this race will give us an idea of the direction that the official opposition is going as a party. Well, certainly, Mahendra, that is the indication that, you know, whoever will be elected here will really take uh, the, the, the party through the turbulent time that it faces, of course, uh, help uh, to map up a direction in which it's going to take ahead, of course, of those crucial, crucial elections that will take place in 2021, that in the local government election. So important for the party at this time, which we know is currently, uh, you know, in the, uh, troubled waters at the time due to issues of leadership with Musi Maimane having resigned last month as well as Adol Trollip also having resigned from the party as the FedEx chair. So the party now trying to really close that gap with regards to those uh, leadership structures and also trying to also appoint an interim leader that is going to take the party forward ahead, of course, of uh, the early uh, federal congress that will be held in April next year. So uh, there has been, of course, word that uh, John Steinhazen has been punted as being the one who's going to take over this leadership position. But, uh, of course, so we do know that um, the election is uh, completed by now and that uh, the counting of those votes is underway as we speak, Mahendra. Okay, so is there any, any indication at all who's the front runner at the moment? Well, at this point, there's no indication, Mahendra, uh, as to who the front runner is. But of course, uh, we do know that uh, you know, uh, in this race, going into this race, many in the DA were actually, you know, uh, you know, saying that uh, John Steinhazen is likely to become the interim leader of the DA. And of course, uh, some of the analysts, of course, also saying that you know, all indications are that John Steinhazen is going to take it. We did uh, speak to him earlier. Of course, he also sounded very confident. You know, uh, in, in the fact that he could uh, become the leader of the DA but of course what this means there have been concerns that have been raised with some saying that you know uh, the party seems to be taking a, wrong, a right wing direction with uh, you know mostly uh, seeming to cater for the white minority and uh, concerns also being raised about the fact that you know all of those uh, who are uh, seen as uh, the core or the liberals of uh, the, the, the party liberals are uh, being ignored in this instant and so really some of them are uh, expressing concern at the fact that with uh, John Steinhazen being appointed and you also have uh, the likes of Natasha Mazzoni as a chief whip and then the Fed co-chair Helen Zilla also being white that uh, they are concerned about the direction in which the party is taking but of course uh, that we do know that uh, this is a, a very important race for the party which will map out the direction of course as it heads to that important election. Manoba, the uh, vote counting is currently underway. Is there an indication as to when it will finish and when the announcement will be made? Well, Mahendra, we're expecting uh, a press briefing to take place here, uh, right behind me at 2 o'clock this afternoon. But uh, they have indicated that, you know, uh, they could hold this press briefing a bit earlier than expected. So uh, at this point, we're still waiting to hear what the outcome is. And uh, we're watching closely, of course, uh, from uh, some of those uh, spokespersons and uh, designated spokespeople that have been appointed to deal with communications, but also closely watching the Twitter, uh, uh, you know, handles of these uh, leaders uh, that are contesting these elections of course, they will also, uh, you know, be communicating uh, via Twitter. So we do expect it to be at two at this point, Mahendra, but uh, the indication is that it could also likely be earlier on. Okay, great. Thank you very much indeed. That was my colleague, SABC reporter, Mangnobam Kunu, who is in Bruma at the DA headquarters as the party is voting for their leader.